Have you ever asked yourself the following question? Who am I? If you have answered yes, you are not alone. In this video, I would like to shed some light on why that question popped into your head. Identity is a major issue for most of us. Who am I really is either at the forefront of our thinking or in some way lurking just below the surface. Why? Because we want to count and we want to be known. No one wants to be no one, so we strive to be significant. In our career years, our roles are easily defined and become inextricably linked to our identities. Judith Boyce sums it up with these words. Work shows up our identity. It anchors both the private and social self. It defines that self to itself and to the world. And lacking a workplace to go to, a circle of colleagues to connect with, a task to confirm our competence, a salary that puts a value on that competence, a job description that serves as a shorthand way of telling a stranger who we are, we may, when you have retired, start to ask with growing anxiety, who am I if I'm no longer a teacher, a soldier, a priest, a doctor, etc. This question, who am I, is rooted in the desire to understand the authentic self, to discover who we truly are. Identity is important because A. Knowing one's identity is the first step to gaining self-mastery of oneself. B. Knowing who we are is essential for determining what we want and would like to do with our lives. C. Because purpose is created from within. So what is identity? To speak of identity, oneself is a complicated matter because at any given moment, we have several different versions of ourselves. We wear different faces for different occasions. However, it is safe to say that there are two categories of identities. One, work identity, and two, social identity. Identity may be described as the way you see yourself, the way you experience yourself, and the way you connect with the world around you. One of the very stronger tendencies of human being is to seek to maintain one's sense of identity. We may go to great lengths to create and maintain the outer roles and structures that mirror to us the self that we want to see. So powerful is this force to maintain our identity that many will die rather than let go who they are. Identity is to the human person what the force of gravity is to the earth. One's identity is the center of gravity around which one seeks a sense of equilibrium. Just as the sun with the planets our identity forms a field of attraction that determines the orbit of our thoughts, feelings, and behavior. In other words, people have to know who they really are in order for them to be able to know and determine what they want to do with their lives. Loss of identity can make a person feel lost at sea, irrelevant, confused, frustrated, and even become depressed. The Living with Purpose workshop will help you to disengage from your work identity and help you begin the process of redefining yourself beyond your career without vocational labels.